I've been so demotivated recently, it's crazy. One video literally changed my mind and made me want to upload every day again. So shout out to my boy Spencer Owen, also known as Spencer FC, because his video literally made me want to upload every day again. It's as simple as that, man. Shout out to the big brother of the FIFA community on YouTube. He doesn't realize what he's done, mate. He's unleashed a monster. Because I'm about to go ham on this YouTube thing and I'm not talking pork, mate. You already know what it is. Let's introduce it properly before the RB Leipzig career mode. That's right. That's coming back soon as well. Drops tomorrow. Welcome back to the Manchester United career mode. Let's get it going. Let's Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to Buzzcut Gaming. It's your boy Sunny, and we are back with another episode of the Manchester United career mode. And finally, Sunny is making videos daily once again. Now, I might mess up and miss a day. I'm not going to say I'm perfect out here, but I'm trying to perform to the best of my ability, which is obviously make videos every day. Also, a little bit of homework for you guys to do. I know, homework. Who wants homework, mate? Nobody even does that stuff. What, you, you do it? Oh. It's just me that wasn't doing his homework at school then. This is a bit awkward. No, but seriously, a little bit of homework. What kind of content do you guys want to see from me? Let me know in the comment section down below. Because I don't only want to do FIFA content. If you guys know what that could be, let me know that in the comment section down below. Also, before we start this video, smash on that like button. Would be appreciated. You can do that by hitting the thumbs up button down below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Turn on those post notifications. We're doing four shout outs throughout this video. So make sure you stay tuned for them. So we left off with what I was calling the best team ever in our squad and that is 88 Lukaku playing up top we got 84 Martial on the left hand side Rashford with 84 overall we can also bring in Ibrahimovic, Mkhitaryan, Asenio, Mata you can see the rest of the squad out there Casemiro's a new signing at the club we've still got a boy like Pogba and Ander Herrera joining him we've still got Eric Bay and Valencia joining the new boys Rafael Varane joining the new boys Rafael Varane and Kazawa at the back with David De Gea staying in his place in goal for Manchester United. We've also brought in Donnarumma who could be his replacement in the future. We've got Sassegno just in case we need to replace my boy Kazawa in the coming years as well. Still got players like Matic, Thomas Lamar's there. We've just gone crazy. One season it took and literally Manchester United are looking like maybe Champions League contenders now. Jose Mourinho slacking mate. He's slacking because your boy Sonny knows exactly how to manage Manchester United and that is how you manage Manchester. Oh, maybe not. I have to make a few changes to the club and I'll need Jose Mourinho's help. Should we give Emre more his debut? I'm actually going to give Emre more his debut. We're going to play Ibrahimovic up top, take out Martial to bring in Thomas Lamar as well. We've got a lot of stamina issues to the club. Uh, bring in Pogba, I mean Matic and what, Casemiro in that kind of role there. We're also going to bring in Lindelof, give him a chance in the club. I don't think Sevilla is that good. Hopefully they're not. We're going to play Sassegno because we know he can cope with the big teams as well as... Um, cope with the small teams and we're gonna bring in Ashley Young as well and Donna Rummer in goal. Bang! That's what we're gonna go with. Not sure about it but we'll take it into the game. Sevilla's not the best of opponents we could have got in the Champions League so hopefully it works. Hopefully we pick up a win and I'm pretty sure we got a second leg anyway so if we do bad we've still got another chance. Champions League football we're actually playing away. I didn't even realise we were playing away. If I knew we were playing away, I would have played a better squad than what I'm playing. Lukaku, though, is on the bench just in case we need him. We know Ibrahimovic can score goals. It's not a secret. But if he can't run onto the ball and he can't get enough of the ball, Lukaku might have to come off the bench and play a little bit of football with a little bit of a stamina issue. Barcelona's got Napoli, Tottenham's got Bayern Munich. Didn't get a chance to see the rest of them. But there's a lot of teams out there, a lot of good teams out there, who we could be playing in the next stage. But first of all, we have to concentrate on Sevilla. Let's go and win. Come on, boys. Take the ball off them, man. They're having way too much of the ball early on at the moment. There you go. So Senor intercepts and will break away with it. Get it through the middle and into the centre. Zlatan Ibrahimovic somehow plays that ball forward. And Herrera on the right-hand side is the new man, Emre Moore. Looks to the far post. And it's a goal. Just like that, Emre Moore gets himself an assist. And the boy who I was trying to sell in the January transfer window, Thomas Lamar, picks up yet again an uh, important goal for Manchester United that's what I'm looking to do man play it out on the wings take, take that little bit of finesse mate that's what we've needed that little bit of dribbling close ball control from Emre Moore and he's played it straight into Thomas Lamar looked easy nearly made it harder than it needed to be as long as he's scoring mate it's all good in the hood here's Geese 
Gies plays it off to Ben Yedda. Good tackle from Matic. That's why he still plays for us. And here goes Thomas Lamar again. Using that pace. Down that left-hand side. I need support. I'm waiting for someone. Anyone. Thomas Lamar. It's into Ibrahimovic. And he goes for the goal. And it's a good save from the goalkeeper. Run for me, Casemiro. I will find you. Sosenyon plays it into his feet now. Ibrahimovic waits for it. And gets it. And into the feet of Emre Moore. Already got himself an assist. And goes for goal. And he puts it straight at the keeper. Sergio Rico. Easy. Let's go, Ashley Young. Bring that ball forward for me he's got pace on him even though he is like 33 or 32 however old he is into Ibrahimovic with a shot big save from the goalkeeper I thought that was gonna curl into the top corner mate close him down oh no 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 Nelito he's put it in and he's offside wow we are lucky come on Casemiro bring that ball forward for me and play forward Ibrahimovic Thomas Lamar, oh maybe not, Emre Moore, he's got space from Ashley Young on the right hand side, still Ashley, cuts his side, it's Ashley Young, oh what a save, what a deflection as well, how have they kept me out, what a save from Sergio Rico on the left peg of Ashley Young and they brought on Gansom as well, but what a deflection or a tackle or an interception or a block from the defender to keep out the rebound as well, hear that, we'll take that, Ibra, into the middle, Thomas Lamar, Emre Moore, Emre Moore goes for goal, Thomas Lamar, somehow he's got himself a yet again another assist and another goal for Thomas Lamar, I don't know if you would call that an assist from Emre Moore, maybe he meant it, maybe he knew the goalkeeper was going to deflect it, I don't know, either way we're winning 2-0 and we can take that into the second leg as well and my boy Thomas Lamar has now got his second goal of the game, two lucky goals you could say. Really lucky goals. Thomas Lamar and Martial are literally making it so hard to choose between them. Really hard. Good little deflect, good little tackle, I mean, there. Mkhitaryan's through, plays it into the debut. T, which is Emre Moore. Good save. Horn out Manchester United. We've only got two added minutes to go. We might as well whip it in. It's Ander Herrera. Whipped in Mkhitaryan off the bench and he's ended up in the back of the net. What? Is that going to count as Mkhitaryan's goal? He's in off the bench, literally just replaced Ibrahimovic for the final two minutes because I didn't want Ibra getting injured. Look at that Pereira. That is a great finish, mate. Amazing finish. Let's sign that kid up. It's actually an own goal for Hugo Malo. We need to sign him. I'm joking, obviously. We're not going to sign Hugo Malo after he sto scores our own goal for us. I want him to score goals for his team, not against his team. We win the game 3-0, and it probably means we're going to take it on to the next stage of the Champions League now. Second leg, probably not even considered right now. We're taking the win. One shot to 16, 11 on target to the zero. No wonder we're winning games, mate. 9.5 rating for Thomas Lamar as well. My team does so good. Emre Moore with a 9.3, and he only gets the one assist, but we'll take it. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and reject that offer for Marcus Rojo. I forgot what you guys said you want me to do about it, but I'm going to reject it. I told you I'm just going to throw them out there. Twitter shout out of the day goes out to my boy Josh LFC fan one If you guys want to Twitter shout out all you have to do is follow me on Twitter and stay active. Same for Snapchat and Instagram. But right now, Twitter shout out goes out to my boy Josh. Kind of an unorthodox team. You wouldn't usually see Angel Gomez in there. You wouldn't see Sasenyon playing against West Ham United either, maybe. You never know. But we've gone with that kind of team. Mkhitaryan, Lukaku and Lamar up top. Angel Gomez had a good game. Matic had a good game. Lindelof definitely had a good game. So they start this game. Angel Gomez had the last two minutes. But he done well, all right? He done well. Well enough to start against West Ham. Let's get into the game. There he is, the man in form, you can say right now. The guy I actually talked about in my last video, Paul Pogba. Even though that video was supposed to be about Coutinho, I kind of tried to make it about Man United because I just love Man United, let's be honest. But yeah, you can go ahead and check that video out. Don't worry, I wouldn't put it up as an eye by now if you guys want to check that out. We're at Wembley Stadium for some odd reason. Oh, it's the Carabao Cup. I believe it's the final of the Carabao Cup as well. We could be picking up silverware. Let's go and get it. It's the final. They beat South Southampton 4-2 to get here. We beat Bournemouth 3-1. I want to win this. Here's Matic. Plays it into... Oh, we can't do anything with it. Angel Gomez trying to break down. He says, yes, we can, mate. We can do something with it. Lukaku into the feet of Thomas Lamar. It's Thomas. No. That was the chance to get off to a good early start. And Thomas Lamar has missed the opportunity. Come on, man. Come on, Valencia. 
Into Angel Gomez, I see support, and it's from Paul Pogba, it's Angel Gomez, what a goal! The youngsters only gonna done it, mate! Puts it into the back of the net from outside the box! I tried to go for the long shot with Paul Pogba, they were having none of it. Falls to Angel Gomez, who they thought was no threat to their goal, and he's bagged it! What a beauty for the youngster! Paul Pogba should be curling one into the top corner there. They deflected it straight to old Angel Gomez. They were like, yo, he's young. He's not talented. Let's give him a chance. He's only going to go and put it into Rosette, mate. No. No words for the youngster. Look at him. He's like, look at me. I've scored in the final of the Carabao Cup. Just look at me. Here's Mkhitaryan. Loads of support on the right hand side. It's Antonio Valencia. Looks for the far corner. What a save from Adrian. Thomas Lamar. Down the right hand side is Mickey. Back top, Angel Gomez back into the feet of Thomas Lamar. Oh my God! What? Thomas Lamar is on absolute fire. That's his third goal in two games. And that was a screamer. Scorcher of a goal. We have to watch the replay on that. What a goal. I thought I'll have a pop before I make a few substitutions. If it goes out, it goes out. Curls into the top corner. Get out my way, son. Thomas Lamar is coming through. Why risk Pogba, Lukaku and Mkhitaryan for the rest of this game? We're 2-0 up. Probably taking home the trophy. Let's substitute them and give everyone else a goal. We've got players running through the middle. Marcus Rashford. He's fast and fresh off the bench. It's Rashford. He's been brought down. It's a penalty. We're probably going 3-0 up. I just need to do this right. And that is put it into the back of the net. Red him. Red him. Get off the pitch, son. Move out of here. Angel Gomez. Steps up for the penalty. And he's going to put it to the left-hand side. And the youngster's done it again. He's having the game of his life. I actually wanted to change the penalty taker, but it wouldn't let me. I was pressing the right trigger. Couldn't change it. He still pops it into the back of the net. He still gets himself his second goal of the game. This kid is on fire right now. It's come to full time. Manchester United. Carabao Cup winners and trust me this is gonna be the first of many when it comes to competitive trophies here at Manchester United come on boys we're doing this that's what I'm talking about few young players in there they came up trumps for me that is what I do I give young players chances and they come up trumps for me I've only gonna skip the celebrations haven't I I'm such an idiot I've pressed A and skipped the celebrations Angel Gomez man of the match though 9.2 rating for him like I said had the game of his life and it was the final they only had one shot on target from their three shots we had 14 we're literally killing every team right now I think we're in form but like I say if you guys think there's a way that we could improve the team let me know in the comments down below that is confirmation of that 3-0 victory in the final of the Carabao Cup against West Ham United who came through Southampton Manchester City and I believe Accrington Stanley I don't even know who's that badge is it might be Barnet or someone like that they actually beat them on penalties please don't grill me I don't know who that is snapchat shout out of the day now we're gonna go ahead and do that Ben McManus shout out to you I'm not trying to go away from the fact I don't know who it is I'm just shouting out my boy Ben all right let's change that topic shout out to my boy Ben McManus wait so let me get this right we're now 11 points is clear of Arsenal with two games in hand. We're literally killing the league. We probably don't have to play every game in the league now. We could probably simulate a couple. We're doing that good. Alexis Sanchez, nice to see him getting player of the month. Pretty sure he's going on a free transfer as well. If I'm right, then I'm right. Contract expiring in four months. Let's go ahead and shortlist him. Imagine with Martial and Thomas Lamar both in form at the moment for me. Imagine the answer to picking between them is getting a brand new player and that could be Alexis Sanchez. Oh my god. Look at that team. Pogba is now a 90 overall player. De Gea has also gone up to a 91 overall goalkeeper. He could surpass Manuel Neuer. We're yet to see that happen, but if it does happen, it's going to happen in this very career mode, boys. And you guys are going to be here to see it. Now, we've got Stoke City in the next game. I'm actually going to simulate this game. 18th in the table, Stoke City. We're obviously top of the table. 11 points clear. Could be 17 points clear, thanks to those games in hand as well. Are we going to make that happen? We'll have to see. It. wait and see against Stoke City. Come on, boys. Get me some goals. I want to see you bad goals. I want to see assists coming out as well. Rashford with the first one. Can we get another one, boys? 
boys. Valencia has got a yellow card. Didn't want to see that. Also, uh, injuries thanks to the, one of their players uh, getting knocked over. But um, as long as my players ain't getting injured, I will take that. Another goal for my boy Marcus Rashford. 30 minutes to go. Thomas Lamar bags himself another one. That's why he's back in the team. That's four goals in three games, I believe, for Thomas Lamar now. And that is the way it ends. Another 3-0 victory. That's three 3-0 victories in a row. Transfer offer for James Wilson. That's actually a good signing for Birmingham City if they did come in for James Wilson. But right now, I need someone who's going to replace him and become back up to Ibrahimovic, who's back up to Lukaku. If you guys know that player in your mind right now, put him in that comment section down below so obviously we can go after him in the next transfer window or maybe go after him now and then we'll be ready to sign him in the next transfer window. A few more changes to the squad and literally we are raring to go. But before we get into this game, Instagram shout out of the day now and that goes out to my boy, Spencer Smith. 6074 if you guys want insta shout out you know what to do hit me up on instagram and like the pictures just make yourself known on instagram and then i'll see you and you know what it is you may get shout out of the day in one of the next few videos here we go then crystal palace we are at their stadium but we saw this in the previous games of this episode we play at their stadium but for some reason we still managed to pick up the win and a good win at the same time as well and not concede too many shots so if we could pull away with another three nil that would be great they are four in the league we should be picking up the win let's go and pick up that win then Townsend he's got pace to go past me you know we're trying to win the ball back he's still going Townsend and now he's using the pace Benteke waiting for the ball gets the ball players around him oh no is that a pen that's a pen damn what have I done man Phil Jones brings him down way too he's gone down too easily to be honest, it's not Phil Jones' fault. He's just behind him. I'm pressing the A button just to literally jockey him away from the penalty box. He's brought him down. Look at that little knee to the back of him. Where are you going, mate? Where are you going? We've seen him miss him before. He's going to the right-hand side and he saved it. Keep on him. There you go. Oh, my God. We've saved the penalty. Come on. Go on, then, Crystal Palace. What you got for me? Valeri. Benteke is always winning headers, man. We need to make sure we don't give him too many crosses or too many balls in the air. Ibrahimovic into Martial. We could break from this corner. Anthony Martial. Still Anthony Martial. It's Anthony Martial. I went for goal. Probably could have crossed. And he saved it. And it's been given away to Crystal Palace now. I'm coming. Thank you. Put enough pressure on him to force him into that. Ibrahimovic with a shot. Whew, I thought he was going in. It took a deflection corner. And I'm probably going to look straight back for Ibrahimovic here. Yeah, go towards that near post. Ibra again. Oh, oh, it's it, Matic. It's a penalty. I don't know what's happened, but I'll take the penalty. That guy looks a little bit like Messi, but yo, I will take the penalty, mate. Don't know where it came from, mate. We had the chance with Ibra. It fell to Matic. He's completely scoffed the shot, and all of a sudden, the referees will put it into the spot. I'll take it. That was the penalty. Might be a bit more of the player on the left-hand side than it is the captain. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. We scored a penalty in the last one. Maybe we go the opposite way in this one. I don't know. We're going to see what we can do here, boys. I'm going to go to the right-hand side. It was the right decision to go the, the different way to what I did in the last game. Because he went exactly where I put it last time with Angel Gomez. I was about to call him Andre Gomez, mate. Don't know who that is. Of course I know who that is. The Barcelona player. But yeah, I was about to call him Angel Gomez. You know what I mean? But nevertheless, another goal for the big Swede. He's declining that 86 rating. I don't like it, but we'll have to deal with it, alright? He's 86 rated, still banging goals. Oh, they're playing way too quickly here. Way too quickly. Crystal Palace are literally through on goal here. They're gonna score. They're gonna score. There's nothing I can do about it. He's through to Benteke. Oh my god. He's literally just missed an open goal, Benteke. Where are we going now? Into the middle, please. Ashley Young. And it's in and out. Ashley Young again. Second attempt. Hits the far post. Pogba. Oh, if that looped over, that would have been great. That would have been beautiful. Pogba in off the bench, nearly scoring. Rashford. Down the right hand side. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. Ashley Young. Good save. How have we not put that in the back of the net? No, we should be putting that away. Come on, boys. Asensio. Rashford. Ah, hit it. Martial. What? Another one to go. How am I bagging these wonder goals? How? Just how? Anthony Martial scores what could have been the same goal from Thomas Lamar in the last game. Or the game before Stoke, I should say. Literally, it's like Thomas Lamar done it on the other side. I'm telling you, it is so hard to choose between them. Thomas Lamar and Martial are neck and neck right now for that left wing position. I can't choose. Oh no, this is not good. There's three of them. 
One defender, two defenders, and they've had a shot. Whoo! Nearly rattled the back of the net, mate. That could have curled right into the top corner. We'll take it, though. It's not another 3-0, which means we don't get four 3-0s in a row. However, we do get another clean sheet, and we pick up two goals, which bags us three points. And now we can go into Chelsea's game with four wins behind us in all competitions. That is crazy to me. All clean sheets as well. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. This is going to be a huge game. Manchester United versus Chelsea, but not only that. But if Chelsea win this game, game i believe they have the chance to creep into that top four they got the same goal difference as arsenal so if they win this game or draw this game you can say no they have to win this game they go into the top four above arsenal on goal difference they need a win wait where's manchester city 12th Manchester City in 12th. What? That is crazy. Everton, Bournemouth and Huddersfield getting relegated as well. And hopefully this team is good enough to beat Chelsea in the next episode. If you guys want to see that, smash out the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Turn on those post notifications and then smash out the like button. And then comment in the comment section down below for shout out of the day. And speaking of shout out of the day, shout out to my boy Alex Richards who put a comment on the last YouTube video. That's all. All you have to do, subscribe, turn your notifications on, smash the like button out, and then comment in the comment section down below. And obviously, you guys could be in for YouTube shout out of the day in the next video. By the way, you got it wrong, Alex, all right? You said numbers that was different to what I said in the video. So don't lie, all right? Stop lying. But yeah, if you've enjoyed it, smash out the like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn on those notifications. It has been me. You guys have been great. If you want to see more of the Man United career mode, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments down below and hit that like button so it makes me see the feedback from you guys it has been me you guys be great and i'll catch you in the next one peace